Hey, before we actually fully get started with this video, I just wanted to quickly mention that I am actually trying to get more active over on Twitch.tv, uh, and we are actually five followers away from affiliate, so that would be awesome if you guys could go check me out over there, and if you guys actually like the stuff I do over there, just leave a follow. Uh, I am trying to stream every uh, Monday and Thursday. Uh, those are my only two days off work, uh, and then uh, I do minor just hanging out streams. Uh, I try to anyway on Fridays and Saturdays after work so that would be awesome if you guys could come check it out and hopefully leave a follow uh, anyway let's get back to the video hello again everyone as usual I'm buff button today we are back with another episode of Terraria season 2 calamity now <sighs> there's a problem I did a lot of work off camera to try and upgrade our gear further. Uh, so, uh, I realized I cannot upgrade our souls just yet, uh, because to upgrade them, you need the Abominable Energy, which apparently drops from the Abomination, uh, which I'm assuming is the Boss Abomination. Um, we are not ready for that yet, so I can't upgrade those. Uh, this thing is the next one that can be upgraded. Uh, but we cannot get a lot of these things yet. Uh, let's see. Ascendant, Spirit, Essence. I... Is that craftable? Yeah, that's craftable with Endothermic Energy and Nightmare Fuel, which you get from the Pumpkin and the Ice Queen um, during the Pumpkin Moon and uh, Frost Moon events. Problem is... They only drop after you beat a certain boss. I don't remember what boss that is. Possibly the Poltergast, I think, if I remember correctly. But anyway, uh, so we can't get those yet because that boss is quite a ways away. Um, but where's the thing in right here? Uh, this one. Was it this one? Uh, actually, we already made this one. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, but we can't get uh, the upgrade version of this yet. Uh, this one doesn't uh, upgrade. This one doesn't upgrade. Uh, I already talked about these. And then this one. This one does upgrade to the Force of Annihilation. Now, I actually already got the Arrow Spec enchantment ready. And did I get this one? No. I cannot get this one. Because this Counter Scarf here is a Revengeance drop. We cannot do this unless we enter Revengeance mode. That is a big problem. Um, and then... I don't think it's this one. Is it this one? Um, I don't remember which other one it was. Maybe it was Aerospec. I don't remember. But another one of these items that we needed only dropped during... Uh, what was it called? It was... Um, Eternity mode. So, if we want to continue in this mod pack, we have to join both Eternity mode and Revengeance mode. Considering both of those make the game significantly more difficult, I don't know if we'll be able to do this. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess we can start with turning it on, turning them on. And seeing what happens? I don't remember where I left the items for them, though. Um, I think I must have just put them in here, so... Yeah, the mutant's gift. And then the other one... I don't think I can... Ah, yep, okay. Enables, disables, revengeance mode. Can only be used in expert mode. Activates Rage. When Rage is maxed, press whatever button to activate Rage Mode. You gain Rage whenever you take damage or hit an enemy with a true melee weapon. You gain... Uh, oh no, I just read that. Activates Adrenaline. When Adrenaline is maxed, press button to activate Adrenaline Mode. You gain Adrenaline whenever a boss is alive. Getting hit drops Adrenaline back to zero. All enemies drop 50% more cash and spawn 15% fr uh, more frequently. Certain enemies and projectiles deal between 5 and 25% more damage. 
makes certain enemies immune to lifesteal and nerfs the effectiveness of lifesteal. Nerfs the effectiveness of the titanium armor set bonus. Makes life regen scale with your current HP. The higher your HP, the lower your life regen. This is not based on max HP. Asphalt run speed is reduced by 33% and the nurse's healing cost is increased. Before you have killed your first boss, you take 20% less damage from everything. Changes all boss AIs and some enemy AIs in vanilla and the Calamity mod. So yeah, that's all the stuff that that adds. As for this one, uh, not intended with other content mods or modded difficulties. See, that's that's kind of what I'm worried about because that thing apparently does not work well with uh, other stuff like that. So yeah. Anyway, let's get somewhere where we can read that. All right, Toggle's Eternity Mode entailing the following: Deviant provides tips and assistance based on progress. Changes world to expert mode. We already you know have it in expert mode. Changes all vanilla and souls mod boss AIs and many enemy AIs. Compatible boss drop uh, bosses drop additional loot, including exclusive accessories. Uh, rebounces many weapons and certain mechanics. Introduces new debuffs and possible debuff sources. Increases cash from enemies and adds certain drops. Increases spawn rates. Cannot be used while a boss is alive. Minions do reduced damage when used with another weapon. So yeah. <sighs> this is not going to be fun. Okay, recommended to use Fargo's Mutant Mod debuff display. What is that? Um, maybe this one? Boss red colors. Oh. I don't see it here. Hmm. Where is that one then? Head mirror? What? Whatever. Um, no. Maybe this one? Debuffs, uh, debuffs render above player. I think this is probably it. But, I mean, no better time than the present, I guess? Wait, that's it? I thought for sure it would have caused a lag or something. Well, let's uh, do Revengeance as well! Oh, God. This is gonna be a mistake. This is gonna be a massive mistake. Um... We can't put these for now. Just in case it becomes too much and we need to put them away. Okay, so. Now that this is active, we should probably start refighting bosses. Because almost every boss has some sort of either Revengeance or Eternity Mode drop. This guy has the Crown Jewel for Revengeance Mode. And then the Slimy Shield for Eternity Mode. Uh, looks like you're good. I'm not even bothering with you right now. Uh, the Counter Scarf is actually the one we need from the Eye of uh, Cthulhu. So that's Revengeance. And then this one is Eternity Mode. So yeah, basically everyone will have some sort of drop that we need to collect. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. Definitely not. I don't remember what the uh, Eternity Mode drop is that we need, but we do need to go back through and basically fight everyone. So... Yeah! This is going to be fun. It's not going to be fun. Alright, so let's go to pre-hard mode. And I don't even know if we'll be able to fight these things, honestly. Uh, simply because I feel like we're probably going to fail. Because the new... Um, uh, let's just do that. What am I thinking? The new changes the new AIs and everything are probably going to mess with everyone so badly that we probably won't be able to do much 
Okay, so these are the ones that I know for sure will have new stuff. I don't even know if you'll get them first try or not, even. Alright. So, well, first of all... 556 magic damage. That is way lower than it used to be, isn't it? Didn't it used to be like 700 or something like that? The clown! What are you doing here? That's weird. He survived many hits from my thing there. Okay, I'm not seeing anything that's uh, more powerful, though. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> nice. Alright. Anyway, uh, I say let's get to it. Let's summon these guys. I know they're not going to do as much damage if we're using other weapons, but what can you do, right? Whoa. What is that? That's new. Okay. Well, let's summon the King Sl Actually, no, it's Knight, so let's do the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh. Okay, so he is actually still very easy. Okay. Should have seen that coming, but whatever. Uh, let's just toss that. Because I don't care about it. Toss that. So that's the new drop. Wooden crates. I guess the crates only drop in uh, either Eternity mode or Revengeance mode then. Okay. And the Leash of Cthulhu already. Alright, so now let's do this. Uh, let, let's do Skeletron. Oh, weird. He looks kind of like Skeletron Prime. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Okay, that was actually uh, significantly more difficult. Hmm. Okay. He dropped the bone zone. Um, I don't see any drops. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I don't see any drops that could be uh, considered um, a special drop. What the frick? Oh, that's one of those dragon things. But it is super strong, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I don't even know where it is. Ow. Yeah, our um, magic scepter here does not do nearly as much damage as I want it to anymore. Okay. So let's just come over here real quick and drop off some of our stuff. Alright, um... I guess let's put it in here. And we'll deal with it later. I don't know. Alright, and then... So I'm assuming these Eternity Mode things drop, like, every time then, maybe? I hope. Alright, so let's continue. There we go. The more of these we get, the more we can upgrade our gear. Now, it might be pretty easy right now, but I guarantee once we get into, uh, like, the Hard Mode bosses, we probably will not stand a chance. So, yeah. Um, this guy needs to be done at night, right? No. He doesn't need to be done at night. I don't think anyone here needs to be done at night. So let's just do the King Slime. Oh, God. Hello? Okay, so it's like a slime rain. Okay, he is dead now, though. I did just realize that we didn't get the, um, the counter scarf from the, uh, oh, life crystals, from the, um, Eye of Cthulhu, though. Oh, well. Alright, uh, I guess the wormy food now. What? What? How about the Brain of Cthulhu? Okay, the Brain of Cthulhu spawned. 
That looks weird. What the frick? Oh my god. What just happened? Was that intended? I'm assuming that was intended. That was messed up. I really don't like that. Hey, jump back, hey! <laughs> oh, and it did drop the heart. Okay, um, let's just toss those. Why not? Interesting. So, what happened with the, uh, Eater of Worlds? That was weird. Alright, um... I suppose let's take this. I think we already have the Leash of Cthulhu. And the Bone Zone, so I don't think we need those. Then let's take the, uh, crates and throw them into our stuff as well. Um... Yeah, so we have the leashes. Then... Uh, we have bone zones. Uh, sure, I'll put that in there. I'll put that in there. We got tissue samples. I'll put those in there. Uh, King Slime Slasher. We have those. Okay. We do need the slimy shield, though, still. Um, I'm starting to think I'm going to need, like, more chests for Eternity Mode drops. Let's just put them down here for now, I guess. Yeah, so boom, boom, boom. And then the treasure bags can go in here for now, I guess. Alright. Uh, it was this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Let's quickly just sell these other two. Boom. boom. Oh, three I meant, because we still have the king's sword. There we go. Oh, wait, I also want to come back here and buy the, um... Hello. Uh, buy the Eater of Worlds spawn again. Here you are. Pretty hard mode. I want to try this again, because it did not work. And we are going to need the, uh... I've Cthulhu again. Let's just get five. I love being able to fly infinitely now. Okay. So, can we spawn this during the day? Does that make a difference? Interesting. Okay, this thing actually spits out, um, uh, Cursed Flame. That's not cool. If you were to fight this thing when you actually would, like back in uh, pre-hard mode, you would not stand a chance. Interesting. Don't care about that. Also, I just noticed, coming uh, coming up into space, I can't breathe. That's interesting. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Additionally, uh, I remember... Okay, yep. So if you look right here, we have new ore in the world uh, after defeating Moon Lord. But I can't actually mine it. So it must be blocked by uh, something. I don't know what. Anyway, uh, let's just toss those, I guess. There we go. And then let's make it night so we can find uh, fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Actually, you know what? Here. Okay. Death. Um. Um. That was weird. Was that a glitch or was that intended? I don't know what that was. That was weird. That was really weird. Anyway. Um, okay, so, can these stack? These cannot stack. That sucks. That really sucks, actually. Ugh. Okay, anyway. Um, boom, boom, boom. I guess I'll do that. Okay, we have another bag. A couple bags, actually. 
And then trophy. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, so we need that counter scarf. That's actually an item that we need to be able to progress. Okay. So this thing looks like uh, one of the Moon Lord's eyes, interestingly. Okay. Now let me make it day, since we don't have any more spawns. Did we get everything? We did, and we still didn't get the drop. That blows. Dang it. Okay. Alright, so apparently that drop is more rare than I thought. Okay, well, let's go for the Queen Bee, because I feel like Deviant's going to be kind of difficult. <clears throat> considering Eternity Mode is from its home mod. Rather, it is from Eternity Mode's home mod. Ow. The frick are you? Just re-sprite as a bigger hornet? I guess? Royal Subject has awoken. Uh, That's weird. Interesting. Okay. Um, I guess let's toss the... those, yeah. Okay, so I yeah, that's the eternity mode thing. So yeah, it seems like the eternity mode drops drop every single time. Interesting. Um <clears throat> I think I'll keep just like three of each for the time being until I you know know better. Then we do have to fight this one down in the um correct biome then, right? I think we do. Boom. Okay. I mean, we don't really need any of these anymore, because we have basically everything we could ever want. Oh, that actually reminds me! I was going to craft the auto-injector, wasn't I? I was. Let's do that. Because that might actually be helpful. Okay. Now, the auto-injector, we have basically everything for. There we go. Yeah, so there are two different routes to craft it. There's this one, then there's also this one here. Uh, this one here involves the Watcher Amulet. Um, which is strange. Um, let's see. No wonder it had an oddly shaped amulet in the middle. Uh, by obtaining certain essentials, you have awakened the true form of this amulet. What unearthly power does it have? Nobody knows. Summon damage decreases when you attack other uh, using other classes. Okay. How do we get that? Let's craft it with all this stuff and an otherworldly amulet. Which is dropped from the Dungeon Guardian, which is resprited to be purple. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then... So both of them do involve the, uh, the Masks Bundle. So let's make that. Because I think we can. Yeah, yep. So this thing just basically involves every vanilla, um, boss. Not every boss, but a majority of the vanilla bosses, in progression anyway. Uh, to craft, so I went around and I fought a bunch of mobs, uh, mobs, uh, bosses, to get these, so, boom. Auto-injector? Oh! I thought I could craft this now. What am I missing? I got that, I got that. Uh, I got that, I got that. I got spectre bars. Oh, I need more shroom my bars, don't I? Interesting. I could craft one. You're kidding. Does our thing... No, it's not even full. Well, that's a shame. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'll be right back once I can actually craft it. Alright, so we now have enough shroomite. So... Okay, what are we missing? 
We have that. 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 And that. We need a materia transmutator. Oh my god. I really need to start reading those things. How do I make a freaking materia transmutator? Okay, so that's involving all these crafting things. And then the celestial particles. Which, um... If you look at it, they drop from the Dungeon Guardian. Yeah, it turns out the Dungeon Guardian is extraordinarily easy when you have a Banhammer. So that's why I have 5,000 of them. So yeah. Um, now, I guess these can be turned into basically any of these, I guess. A portal gun? Oh no. Oh no. That's insane. Okay, so I'm gonna have to work in, uh, work at crafting that off camera. Now there is something else. Oh, what was it called? It was um. What was it called? I don't even remember what it was called. What is that? Elemental disc. That looks kind of cool, actually. Anyway, yeah, I don't even remember what it was called now. Dang it. Oh, well. Guess we're not doing that one. Alright. Well, let's, uh, try these. Can I use the, uh, Decapodia thing here? No. Okay, but I can do the Deviant one. Hello. What's this? Okay, so you spawn mimics for some reason. Oh, what is that? Pretty sure we want to avoid that. Also, you're not... You're not... Oh my god! Okay. What is going on here? Did I win? Oh, I did win! Okay. And I did get your thing. That's good. Interesting. Did it drop a treasure bag before? Interesting. Alright, so... Let's put the bag in there. Also, I think the Deviant is technically a she as well. Um, actually, the potion can go there. And then let's go down to the um, arena and fight this thing quick. Now that I know that Revenge in Samoa drops are not a guarantee, though, we probably won't be able to get anything from it. Also, our rage is almost full. Oh, wait, I missed it. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. Alright. Also, while hunting for, um... Uh... Mushroom biomes... Uh, for some reason, in the Sunken Sea... My whole game was flipped and reversed. I'm not sure what that meant, but that was the thing that happened. Okay, yeah, so he was obviously a pushover. I wonder if maybe the treasure bags will have uh, the revengeance drops. Let's go open them and find out. Okay. So, first let's toss that, and then, they do, okay, gotcha, so that's how those appear, anything that has a revengeance mode drop, will drop it in its bag, 
not in its um uh other thing. Interesting. Okay. No, that's not it. Never mind. There it is. Mushroom plasma root. Okay, so we needed this for something else, didn't we? No. What did we need that for, then? I thought that's... Hmm, I don't know. We needed something from uh, Revengeance. Something else, I should say. I don't remember what, though. Oh, well. Alright, uh, I'm sure we have plenty shields of Cthulhu. Actually, we're missing one. Let's put one in. And then my mycelial claws. Yep, we have those. Uh, hi fi rod. Yep. Okay. Um. Should I? I don't even think I should bother with any of this, honestly. I think I should just basically toss all of it unless I get something that is specifically new. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't care. Although I will keep a couple of the scarves. Because those might come in handy later on. Yeah, see? I needed to make both of these different things. That does not have a uh, upgrade to it, though. Interesting. Alright, so I already put one in the thing. Let's keep one extra, actually. Let's just do that. Alright, now I'll keep those because those are good drops. Hey, there's that one. Okay, boom, boom, boom. What is going on down there? Uh, that's a revenge, so I'll keep that. Uh, deviating energy, okay. Uh, beeswax, bee pants. Oh. Have we found that before? We must have, right? Okay. That treasure bag. Boom. Rain for Thulu, we don't need that. Okay. So we've gotten basically everything now. And can I do that? No, because we do still have some other stuff lingering. Dang it. Alright, so let's just do that. Quickly come down here, store everything, and then go back up and get the rest. Yeah, so it seems like any kind of revenge drops will drop in the uh, treasure bag for the, mo uh, for the boss. So if we want anything from a boss, then we're just going to have to get the treasure bag. Wait a minute. Wait a god dang second. What's your name? Carmen. Hey, Carmen. We could just buy them. We can just buy them. Should I though? Should I though? I don't know if I should do that. I don't know. I feel like I probably should actually fight. Whatever. Alright, so off camera, what I'm going to do is I am going to go back through every boss. I'm going to fight them again. And I will basically get every kind of drop that we can get from them. Uh, if I run into a boss that is too difficult, then we will come up with a new strategy for it. Because that obviously means that, you know, we are not equipped enough. So, yeah. This is going to be an interesting journey. Now that everything is, um, upgraded, I guess. So, yeah, um, next time we will maybe fight some old bosses again and try to fight them. Uh, we will probably also upgrade weapons because we're going to need to. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I can't really tell you for certain what we're going to do, but we will figure it out as we go. So, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day, then. Goodbye.